Yo, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you guys are all doing well, it's Oscar here again, and today we're going to be talking about how a, let me see this, an original owner 7000 mile 95 Toyota, Tur Toyota Supra Turbo 6 speed just sold for over 201, or sold for $201,000, so I think this happened, um, was it last week on Bring a Trailer? I'm not too sure if the date actually shows on here, but I have it pulled up on my phone. Um, original owner, 7,000 miles, 95 Toyota Supra, turbo six-speed manual, obviously, because it's a six-speed, um, sold for $201,000. Now, the reason I'm kind of making this video, how the heck am I supposed to f afford any of these cars, like a Supra, S15 Silvia, R34, R33, R32, how, how the heck? Am I supposed to afford any of these cars if they're going to sell for over 200k? Like you think about it, this car's, or at least this one brand new, the sticker, um, window sticker on it was like 54, 51,000. That's an insane, uh, pretty much insane return on your investment if you bought it brand new in 95. I mean, it took, uh, what is it, like 16 years, or no, sorry. 26 years, no, I don't I can't do math, 26 years to basically turn that 50k into 200k, so you 4 extra money, but still, it took a while, and there's R34 selling for over 100k, there's R33 selling for in the 60 to 70,000, these, like, JDM cars that everyone wants, are they're getting expensive, and I'm sure this JDM bubble isn't gonna last forever, but uh, it's something to think about, and the same thing with, like, collectibles, um, in the chip market, there's chips that were like 15, 20 bucks like a couple of months ago. They're selling for like 70 bucks now because everybody wants them. There's all kinds of hype around them and it's 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 going crazy. So let's take a look at this uh, bring a trailer page. So $201,000 right there. Go down obviously to red. 7,000 miles twin turbo 2J, so stock 2J. Six speed manual, LSD. Uh, let's see. Everything is stock. Owner's manual, still there, service records, clean car fax, private party. So, sport roof, coupe, finished in red, ivory leather, powered by 3.3 liter 2J, uh, six speed. The car was purchased new by the seller from Grand Blanc Toyota in Grand Blanc, Michigan. Now shows 7,000 miles. Everything is stock. Cars finished in Renaissance red and features a front lip spoiler, removable roof panel, optional mud guards, and a rear wing. 17 inch wheels, everything's stock, except obviously tires and everything is like that changed. I mean, this interior is, it's clean. And I mean, I can see why someone would probably want to pay 200K for it, but it's uh, it's a lot of money to buy for a Supra. And then there's the original window, window sticker, 52.5 was what the original owner paid back in 95 for this. So basically four extra money to hold on to it for 26 years. And then there's a little video and then the photos. I mean, the thing looks basically brand new. And the gold emblems. I'm sure whoever bought this car is gonna keep it for like their own collection. I'm not. Sh I'm sure they're not gonna do too much with it. But I mean, gold emblems on the red car and everything stock from the wheels to the interior to the engine and everything. I mean, I can see. Like I said, I can see why someone paid 200k for it, but. Still, it's a it's a lot of money, but I was just uh, talking with my sister as well. Let's say if we go back, there's this forty two thousand mile forty two thousand mile ninety seven super sold for sixty eight k, ninety three super sold for forty five. There's another ninety five sold for fifty. There's a modded one sold for seventy one another modified one with just like a body kit 
and uh, it's an automatic wheels change target top stock 2J sold for 34 53 57 75 so it seems like the red Supras the Renaissance red Supras are selling for more money than the other ones um, but it's interesting there's modded modded Supras selling for 70k and then original owner 94 sold for 71 but obviously people are going to want the six speed manual 2J VVTi and all the goodies so just wanted to quickly make a video talking about that because it's interesting um, like I said this whole JDM bubble with the Super R34, R33, R34 or I said R34, R32 and all these cars that everybody wants they're fast and furious cars that everyone wants but it it's it's uh it's interesting to think about how um cars used to be worth like 50k and now 20 25 years later they're turning into 200,000 plus and people like my age who are like 21 23 25 they're going to want to buy these cars and it's going to be a hefty bit of a change to drop something like 200k or let's say 100,000 on a car like this so just something to think about and um, I don't know it kind of just makes me want to work harder and uh, I don't know just keep going harder and, and, and just bettering myself and everything like that to hopefully get one of these cars one day so just wanted to make a quick little video on that um, as far as stock stuff I'll just throw this quickly in here switch earnings tomorrow morning um, I'm hoping for some good news and then I don't know there's been a bunch of crazy stuff happening uh, in the market but switch earnings are like my uh, my main priority so just wanted to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video please drop a like if you have any comments or thoughts about why these cars are selling for so much put those down in the comments below if you're new here please consider subscribing uh, shows that there's new people watching the videos and the support lately has been um, incredible like I, I think I said it in the last video but um, I don't know we're almost at like 1100 subscribers already so thanks for all the support thank you for watching the videos and uh, it's been Oscar and I'll see you guys in the next one peace